Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron where it was pointed out to me once again that I missed a couple of researches. I don't think these are particularly important, but we will get them finished up nevertheless. Now of course we're not working on a national focus right now and I feel like we don't really need the extra political power, so we may as well finish some of these up I suppose. It doesn't really matter what we go for though. Excellent. Now, the real problem that we're having here is a logistical one, right? We're having a substantial issue with our logistics in Texas, because this is an extremely wide front. But yet we are still well over our required area here. Now, I'm wondering... Ah, I think there's some issues here. This army group over here... Wait a second. What happened to our commanders here? Oh, this is the Asian theater. What am I doing? There we go. This army group over here. That would help. There's some overlap here. And I think that's a core issue that we're having. I want this army group to remove all orders then. And I want this to be exclusively frontlining. Not this border. No, don't do that. I want to be frontlining exclusively outside of this supply zone. I want only this army group in this supply zone. Like that. Okay, so we'll give them a new offensive line, and honestly that offensive line will just be like, you know, kind of generically up here. Something like that. And we'll tell them to go, but in a balanced manner. And then these guys, we're going to remove their orders as well. And their front line is going to be, of course, just the rest of this. So everything that is currently within this particular... Everything that is currently within this particular logistics area. And they're going to have an offensive line that is kind of just generically over here. Excellent. Okay. We may have to give up some ground as we spread out over here. We'll have to see. But hopefully, that will lower our supply costs in here. That's the hope. And I think it will. So we'll get that realigned here, and we'll see where people are moving to. Yeah, they're just kind of generically moving around. And these guys over here, they're moving around a lot more. So, that is a good sign, I think. And there's not a ton of motion happening here. Okay. Sounds good. Now, of course, we don't necessarily have our best troops over here. But they are dying off and being replaced by better ones. So that is a thing that is happening. We did lose access to Oklahoma City again. That's not surprising that we're taking some fallbacks here. But you can see our supply requirements have already dropped here. So that is fantastic. We just, we have to get more supplies in here. And the question is, is there any other way to build up supplies in this area? Fuel silos just give us storage capacity. I mean, we could line this with naval bases. But I don't think that'll help. But what else are we using the... Uh, what else are we using the civilian factories for, right? We can give it a go, but I'm pretty sure that it's not going to come in via Navy. We're still going to be limited by the state infrastructure. Which we need to get that sorted. Okay. So, we are currently in a situation where we're attacking a little bit over here. That's fine. We're not really doing much attacking over here. We're mostly just moving around. And getting attacked. Which is also fine. I suppose we could spam out a million land forts. That is something we could theoretically do. Like, all along this front, so that we don't fall back beyond this front. We could theoretically do that, just to make sure that we're in a place of additional strength. If we do fall back, of course, that will make things difficult for us. 
But this is an option. Technically, we don't have control over that because America does. Rude. But just something like that. That will definitely keep our... That, that'll definitely keep our civilian factories busy. I do want to prioritize repairs in Texas, California, Arizona. Chickasaw Yucatan isn't that big of a deal, but okay. Okay, let's get going on that. Can we get additional civilian factories in any of these areas? The answer is no. We are full up on those for right now. Okay. I don't want to fall back any further, though, which is why we're doing this. Although we're falling back here. Hopefully we have reinforcements moving in there. 30 divisions from this army stretched all the way across to... Okay. 13 divisions, 21 divisions. Interesting. We're definitely going to be falling back over here. Which will, of course... Oh, well, we did move some units in there. That might be enough. But I doubt it. I really, really doubt it. Our command power is currently at nothing. Oh, we are more ground crewing in Greenland. You know what that means? That means that we could theoretically take this off. We are more ground crewing over here. However, we can grab our transports, which are currently located here. And we could bump this perhaps up to 250? Can we afford that? I don't know if we can. We can. We can just afford that. Can we bring it up to like 252? Maybe 255? Let's see what that does. soon as they get there. Okay, that brought us down by two. So we should be able to bring this up to like 265 then. In theory. And drop additional supplies in here. Our efficiency is currently at 0%. And I think that's because these guys are located in this location. I would like to transfer them over to this airbase. Yes. Go ahead and do that. Get them on over. And get this air supply up in here. That's much better. Okay. So, logistically, we are up to 90 now. We're getting about 7 supply in. 180 out of 90, though. Yikes. These guys are still on, on the uh, leaving side of things. Okay. Noted. I am wondering, currently... Uh, we have lost quite a number of units over here. That is for sure. How are we doing on our... How are we doing on our recruitment? We're doing okay. Are we bringing in any additional troops over this way? Not currently. Okay. One thing we may want to consider doing... Is moving some of these paratroopers up. Like these guys, for example... We could move them into this unit. Paratroopers aren't necessarily the best, but we need additional units over here, right? So that's something we could think about. How's our construction doing on those land forts? We're making some progress, but a lot of them... We should definitely be working on that. We're making some progress here. There's no doubt about that. Some of them are just not showing up as blue lines, which I think maybe means that they're not being worked on. Possibly because the state is being attacked. Which is fair enough, ultimately. I don't think that those naval dockyards over here will do anything, ultimately. But I'm hoping that that additional air supply will help. Although that number is currently dropping a little bit. Not by a ton. We seem to have stopped the bleeding, though. 
but I want to create kind of a Maginot line here where we don't pull back any further. <laughs> that's the goal here. And hopefully that's what we end up doing. I really don't believe that these guys can keep up this level of attack though. And I believe that we can. Ooh, that's a big one. That is a big attack there, but they can't maintain that. They've already fallen back on a lot of their attacks here. And that's wonderful. There's our carrier naval bombers, I suppose. This guy is holding on his own, and I don't like that. A lot of our people are retreating over here. We have plenty of supply, though. Interesting. Oh, we've made a push up here. I'm not going to move our Maginot line for right now. I'm just going to leave it where it's at. Just because I don't want to be stretching our civilian factories too thin. Once we have those land forts built, though, I'm okay with going back to aggressively attacking. I'm interested in seeing if we're reinforcing this. Yes, we are. That is good. That definitely needed to be reinforced. Hello, they've pushed us over here, it looks like. And we've pushed right on back, but I believe we're going to need to re queue those land forts. Actually, no, we had pushed that previously. Noted. Excellent. There are enemy navies out there. Yeah, that's fine. Enemy has air superiority over the Rocky Mountains, and that's a big part of our issue. Now, we currently have some free Indian fighters up here. I'm going to toss in another set of jet fighters, too. Which is in here somewhere. I wish there was a search box to be able to search for these. That would be awful nice. Jet Fighter 2. Going to toss in a thousand of them. And I'm going to tell them to air superiority over the Rockies. Off they go. That should help us. Our current air superiority here is 79. Our current air superiority here is zero. So we definitely want to get some air superiority up on this side. We might want to have some close air support assigned to these guys, although they do have a fighter wing attached to them. So we could take this fighter wing here and attach them to, say, this army. Like that. Excellent. And then we probably want to get some close air support in here as well. So I'm going to bring in another, say, 700 close air support. And we'll have those... Where's our close air support? I really wish there was a search box here. Here's our close air supports. We're going to have, I think, yeah, 700 of these. Like that. And we're going to have these guys set, of course, to close air support. And we're going to attach those into, say, this army. Excellent. So this fighter wing here is down in Panama. And they should probably be relocated to, like, here. And then told to come out to Rocky Mountains if they can reach it. Okay. Excellent. So let's see what that ends up doing. That should help us. Pretty dramatically, in fact. That should be a big, big help. Between that and our Maginot line, I think that we are going to stop the bleeding. Definitely. They're going to have a hard time pushing through this. I really, truly believe that. We're going to wait, though, for a while yet until we resume our aggressive attacks. Because after all, we need to allow our reserves to be to be trained here. And we're allowing that to happen. And we need to allow our line to be built. Now, I do want to continue working on war propaganda. And so we shall. Excellent. I would also not necessarily be opposed to doing some integration and maybe some industrial land appropriation but I don't really like that stability and war support reduction so I think we'll hold off on that and I want to check in where that is buildable at 
I'm not entirely sure. Ah, over here. Okay, we'll put in a, a civilian factory. Oh, and we can put in a couple over here as well. So we shall. Excellent. More civilian factories. We have free military factories right now, and we're going to put them to work at making artillery. Wonderful. So how's our air support doing up here? Air superiority is currently 8%. Noted. However, I believe we're going to overall win this. We're going to push them back almost for sure. Yeah, we're up to 34.9% air superiority now. Great. How are we doing logistically in this region? A little bit better, although our air supply appears to not be working right now. Well, now it is. Okay. I guess that's the difference between night and day. Excellent. So we're attacking over here, and I'm fine with that. Another nuke just went off over here. But honestly, we don't care. I really don't think that's relevant. It doesn't seem to do much. Like, they can chuck all those they want. It's completely fine. Anything else that we can spend our influence on for now? Not currently. Okay. That's fine. How's our construction going? Okay, it's coming along. Fairly nicely, actually. Yeah, we're definitely making progress on that front. They're going to have a hard time pushing us past this line. So that's wonderful. We're doing a little bit of work over here. But mostly what we're doing right now is we're in a holding pattern. They're bringing additional troops up to the front. But that's okay. I'm really unconcerned about that. Let's see how this fills in. Okay, so it pretty much pushes up there. That's fine. Cruiser effort? Okay, sure. I mean, these aren't relevant, but we might as well. There's absolutely nothing else to do with those, I don't think. We're making some progress attacking over here. That's nice to see. This is up to 113 supply, 114. Excellent. How are we doing repairs-wise? Arizona is trying to get repaired. Fair enough. Texas should be a top priority. No, they are not ready yet for a provisional government. Ooh, excellent. We're getting up close to San Francisco. This is getting to be quite a coastal bulge that we've got going on here. I do like that, actually. Did we just take back Oklahoma City? We did. We absolutely did. Let's get to work on that infrastructure. Repair Oklahoma's infrastructure and build infrastructure in Oklahoma as top priorities. Other top priorities actually include these civilian factories. However, these are bottom priorities. There we go. Get to work on those land forts. I feel like we've turned this back around. I hope we've turned this back around anyway. We have free military factories again. I'm going to toss a few more of those into anti-tank. Okay. I mean, we're capturing more factories as we go, right? So that's a thing that's happening. I wouldn't mind fortifying Oklahoma City, actually. That's something that I think is fairly important. Let's get that underway. If we can hold Oklahoma City, that'll be a big deal for us. We currently have no one over here, and I don't like that. They're not attacking it, though. So I'm going to assume our generals know what they're doing, even though I know for a fact that they don't. <laughs> But luckily, we seem to be 
making progress over here on this front. So that is ultimately what matters. Yeah, we're definitely making some progress. And in the meantime, we're holding over here and getting our Maginot line built. Yes. As I said before, I'm quite pleased with what's happening here, and this is completely fine. Did I need to queue those? Not really, but I still want to have this line as a fallback line. I'm not going to continue pushing it up, but I just don't want to push back any further than that line, if at all possible. Let's check how we're doing on our air superiority up here. Okay, the Rocky Mountains were doing quite well. We should definitely... Capacity 8 out of 0 airplanes. Why does this airbase not have any capacity? That's odd. Well, we definitely want to put in some jet fighters here, if we can. Here, here they are. Okay. And I'm going to put in a thousand, even though we can't support that many, because I suspect we'll be able to eventually. And we will have these guys coming over here to air superiority the white, the, the white coast? The west coast. There we go. That's the correct term. <laughs> I guess I was saying white because it's Ojibwa. And their nation color is white? I don't know. Presumably. Okay, so we're going to continue pushing up here. We've almost got San Francisco. That's a big, big deal. We're going to get another nation to, uh, to capitulate here. Navajo, probably. And if that happens, that will cut them off from a fair number of resources. We have Arizona almost completely under control now. And large parts of New Mexico have now been taken. So that is ultimately a very, very good thing. I'm a little concerned about this bulge up here. I'm not going to lie. But very soon now, we're going to have additional reinforcements on their way over. So that is good. That is very, very good. Those reinforcements are going to go into this force, obviously. This force needs the help. We're doing quite well over here. Not so well over here. These guys are attacking in a balanced manner. These guys are also in a balanced manner. There's been very little going on on this front, and ultimately I'm okay with that because we've been getting a lot of construction done. And I'm very happy about that. I did not mean to increase this. Uh, can we cancel that? You know what? There's a victory point there. I guess it's fine. <laughs> but it's not a high priority for sure. Okay, so the line break is here. Technically, these guys should not be in New Mexico. We don't want this overlap to be happening. But we've got some unassigned divisions, and we need to send them right on over. Start reinforcing. For now, we're just going to plop them in wherever they are most needed. And the way we're going to determine that is just where they're lacking the most. So all four of those are going to go into Army 15. And they're going to make their way on over. In theory. I hope they're going to move. <laughs> It'd be awkward if they didn't. Army 15 is assigned to be here. Yeah. They should definitely be here. They should absolutely be here. Yeah, these guys moving in over here. That's fine. I definitely want to shorten this line. I wish there was a effective way to edit the front lines only. Right click and drag the mouse on one of the borders. Blah blah blah. Shift click and right to set it to set the front without subunit fronts in a shorter interval. Right click and drag on the existing front line endings to edit them. Okay, fantastic. So, no? Ah, this is the end point. Like that. Perfect. That's how we want to do that, then. 
Gotcha. Now, we may end up losing a little bit of territory in New Mexico due to that, but that's okay. I don't mind. It is, however, time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue our grind through North America. We can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subs subscribes, and bell ringings. And next episode, we are going to attempt to figure out why this airbase is locked at zero. That is something that I would like to look into. See you all next time.